Hey everybody, it's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. It is Friday, um, March, what's the date today? March 11th. I had to look again because I don't have my glasses on. But anyway, yes, it's Friday, March 11th. So, for those of you that don't know me, again, my name's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, ThreadUp, and The Real Real. Um, by day, I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist, and today what I have for you guys is a Goodwill Blue Box, and I honestly don't remember which one I scored. I don't know if it was like the Thrifty Apparel one or what, so let's get into this box. Um, yeah, I knew I should have I should have opened it off camera cuz they really take these. Not like the thread up boxes where there's, you know, maybe one piece of tape. Oh shit, I'm going to stab myself on camera. Oh snap. Come on. Oh, okay. So while I'm struggling with this box, you guys, I, I'm really, really sorry. I know I posted a video last week of handbags and I have not gotten one of those bitches listed yet. Um, head up my ass again. That's all I can say. Um, I did list like one item this week, but it wasn't, wasn't anything from the purse box, but I'm committed to doing it this weekend, you guys, because next weekend I'm going to be getting ready for my Florida trip. So anyway, with that, let's get into this box. Let's see what I've got. Here is your first look inside of it. There is a receipt. And this cost me $37.09. I'm guaranteed 10 to 12 pieces. And this is an apparel box, $29.99. So um, anyway, let's see what I got. Okay, I'm just pulling random stuff. First item is this. Oh, it's an Adidas shirt. Um, Climacool, it is a U.S. small and it looks to be in pretty good condition. There's a few pulls. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is a men's or a woman's, but it's it's cute. So I can that's definitely sellable. And then we have Chico's size three. This pink blou pink polka dot blouse. Wow, that is super. Super cute. I think it, I don't know if that would fit me. No. No. Too big. Anyway, so this Chico's top, it will definitely go up for sale. Again, so, oh, it's a 16, 18 it, with their vanity sizing. So no, that's not going to fit me. But great piece. Chico sells, resells really well. Okay. I got this little bitty. Itty bitty, knew it tag. Oh, it's a Victoria's Secret swim top. Originally $29.50, so that's cool. Um, I imagine this will sell. Looks like the bra cups are in wrong. I'll have to fix that. But um, yeah, okay. Not mad at that. Knew it tag, Victoria's Secret. Then we have... An Under Armour medium. Again, I think this is a men's. A hundred percent sure this one is a men's. Um, men's medium Under Armour. You know, all right, I'll take it. What is it? So if I paid thirty-seven, I'll, I'll figure out the math in a minute. Okay, this next up we have Michael Kors slim fit dress shirt. It's a 15, 15 and a half, 32, 33, which is actually um, my husband's size. And it's a nice, nice Michael Kors shirt and appears to be in good condition. So, okay. 
And we have Rip Curl. $42.50. Oh, these are shorts, size 33s. Um, brand new with tag. Actually, I'm going to see if these fit Zach. Because, bless his heart, he needs some shorts for Florida. So, I'm going to have him try those. But, alright. I'm really liking this box. What do we got here? This is Pebble Beach Performance, size small. Um, really good condition, three quarter zip. I don't, I mean, I don't know if it's worth anything, but we'll find out. This is brand new with tags, TJ Maxx 9.99 tag. It's Reebok, forty dollar MSRP. And, oh, wow, this is cute. Super cute Reebok. Brand new with tag. Um, shirt. It does appear. Is this a stain or is it a fuzzy? So there's like a little something here on the back of the shirt. So, I mean, probably just shop wear. So, anyway, great piece. And we have these size 26 O'Neill Hybrid. Very, very tiny. New with tag. I don't know if these are kids. They might be kids. Because they're 26. Anyway, O'Neill Shorts, that's a good brand. Uh, nice. So I will list these for sure once I figure out if they're boys or girls or men's, women's, whatever. All right, next up. Ooh, doggy, these are a little loud. Pack in pack, size 14. Um, Very tropical capri pant. Um... I might actually try these bitches on and catch them, release them for my Florida trip. I don't know. They are a little loud, but I do have like a solid color t-shirt um, in this yellow color, probably actually in all the colors. But anyway, I might just try it on just to see, but these are cute. They're a pull, it looks like they're a pull on, stretch, pant. There's a control top panel around the front. Um, I don't know what pack and pack is. I'll look it up. If it's actually, if it's worth anything, I'll just sell them because as I'm looking at them, I don't know that I can, I don't know that I can do those pants. They loud. All right. What do we got here? This is Zenergy by Chico's again with the vanity sizing size two and it's this jacket and it's got sparkle and let's see if I can find out what the fabric tag or what kind of fabric it is. Feels like silk, but I don't think it is. Yeah, it's poly polyester and spandex, but that's super cute and perfect time with spring coming up. All right, this next piece. Ooh. We got some Boss by Hugo Boss. It is a size large. And I can guarantee, guarantee that Zachary is going to be snatching up this shirt. So um, it looks to be in great condition. So, <clears throat> yep. That'll be going in my boy's closet. And the last piece I have is another Chico's piece and a size, another size three. So, wow, I got, I really got some great sizes in this box. This top appears to be brand new without tag. And again, it's a size three and it's white, you guys, but I'm not seeing anything. Not seeing anything at all wrong with this. So, 
Anyway, let's count. Let's go back through. Um, we got this Chico's blouse. So that's one. Two is Hugo Boss. Three, Chico jacket. Four, Peck and Peck. Five, O'Neill. Six, Reebok. Seven, Pebble Beach. Eight, Rip Curl. Nine, Michael Kors. Ten, Under Armour. Eleven, New A Tag. Um, Victoria's Secret. Twelve, Chico's Blouse. Get out of there, Frank. And 13 with the Reebok piece. So it was 37.09. So that puts it at $2.85 per piece. I'm actually happy, you know, happy as hell um, with the box. I personally think that I'm going to have no trouble making my money back and there's a few pieces in there for the family. So that always, you know, that's always a bonus too. Um, so even if I pull out a few pieces, you know, like the Michael Kors shirt and the, um, the shorts for Zach. Oh, and he's going to take the Hugo boss. We're still at $3 and 70 cents per item, which is still, um, a very low cost of goods. And I should have no problem making it back, you know, um, with the contents of this box. So, um, with that, you guys, um, that is what I have for you. Coming up, I do have, um, I didn't order any boxes this week. I am going to try to get um, another blue box tonight. I don't know which one. Any one I can get, I guess. Uh, and then, so next Friday for sure, I've got 30 pounds of denim that I bought from Thread Up. I don't know what the F I was thinking when I did that, but my son was like, hey, mom, when are you going to get another jean box? You haven't done any jeans in a long time. So I ordered a jean box. And anyway, we'll see what's in it. Hopefully, hopefully there's some jean shorts in there for me to take to Florida because I am striking out. I've got like, I think I have two pairs of shorts. No bathing suits. I ordered um, tankinis and shit from Lands On. And yeah, no, those bitches weren't working. So then I ordered some tankinis from Macy's, some really pretty Ann Cole ones that cost a fortune, by the way, in a bigger size. Use the size chart. Yeah. Um, it fit, except the girls, like they it was not going to contain those girls and let me tell you if i did one of these something was going to be popping out either in the middle or on the sides so anyway uh, you know so even though i'm losing weight i'm still struggling to find stuff to fit me and i'm i cannot bring myself to go to the mall yet i don't know why i don't know why i'm but anyway um I was going to go this weekend, but then I ordered some more stuff to, you know, just to see if it'll work out. And if that stuff works out, then I won't have to go to the mall next weekend. So pray for me, you guys, because I really don't want to go to the mall. I hate shopping, if you can believe that. I, I really do. This, you know, this actually is my fix. And I hate paying any more. I hate paying retail. I'd rather somebody else pay retail and then I come along and buy that piece for a fraction of the cost and be the second person to wear it. Cause you know, you know how you guys are. You get something and you wear it one time, maybe two, and then that's it. And you know what? I used to very much be like that as well. And now, I mean, it, it, not having a lot of clothes is very humbling. And I've said that many times, but I'm also, as I'm replenishing, I'm also taking a different approach to replenishing. You know, I'm shopping a lot of your Poshmark closets. In fact, I just um, hit Lindsay's closet last night. Um, if you guys don't watch her, she is a reseller. Lindsay M. Lindsay M. Clark, I believe. I hope I got that right. Her Poshmark closet is at Lindsay M. Clark. And so anyway, 
I watched her video last night. I saw something in there that I liked. I figured she would have kept it for herself. She didn't, so I snatched it up. But anyway, um, so yeah, I've really been trying to shop everybody's closets. Happy Haulers. Oh my God, Janet and Bryn, you guys are amazing. Janet is, if you guys, if you've not watched Happy Happy Hour Haulers channel, it's um, my friends Janet and Bryn out of North Carolina, and they are freaking hilarious. Those, oh my God, those ladies crack me up. And um, Janet has been working on a bag for me to gift to my aunt. And she has just done an amazing, amazing job. She's been sending me pictures of the progress. And anyway, you know, and you guys are probably wondering why AKA the bag lady is going somewhere else for a bag. But it just so happens that, you know, um, my aunt has never had a coach and Anyway, I'm not going to get into the whole family drama, but and, so I decided I had my mom call her and I had her ask what kind of bag, if she could have any kind of bag, what would it be? And she said, coach. And of course I have like, well, she wants black. I have one black coach bag in my closet and it's not what I want to give somebody for their first time coach bag. So Anyway, I immediately went to Janet and Bryn's Poshmark closet because they're, they love coach and they're always getting coach boxes from thread up. So Janet had exactly what I was looking for. And then we FaceTimed and she was showing me like her stash and I was able to pick out, um, a vintage bag. For, and, and Janet's been refurbishing it and leather cleaning it and Doc Martining it. And oh my God, she has taken this coach bag that was just dry as a bone and made it almost look brand new again. And it's like, it's a 30 year old bag. I mean, Janet's got some skills with some bags. So if you can't find what you're looking for in my closet, check hers out because chances are if I don't have it, she's got it. Um, but anyway, with that, you guys, I have rambled on for, oh shit, 17 minutes and 35 seconds. So with that, I am out. Peace.